Ian, you come away with a point. What did you make of it? I thought it was poor, really poor. Um, I think in the last two games, uh, Eastleigh and Torquay, I came out and, uh, and I said that I thought we were good. We played well. We deserved to win the game. And, you know, people can agree or disagree with that. But today, I'll, I'll, if I'm honest, we, we don't deserve any more than what we got. Um, because today wasn't a good enough performance. So, you know, I, I've, I've praised the team when we've played well and not won. But if I'm honest, I'll, I have to stand here and say today I was really not happy with the performance. What disappointed you the most about it then? I think in the first half, you know, we make some changes just to freshen it up. We play a game every three days now, so, you know, we need to be conscious of that. And so I put players in to freshen it up, but I didn't feel like we had anywhere near the intensity of the attacking play that we had in the previous two games. We didn't get beyond or behind them with our possession we played a lot in front of them um too slow and uh so that that, that probably is the biggest disappointment i think we changed it at half time and i thought the first 10 15 we came out with a bit more energy and a, and a bit more purpose but you know it dropped off and I, I didn't feel like we had enough urgency towards the end of the game yeah talk to me about that it was something we picked up in commentary as well there was a moment when your assistant is kind of having to clap his hands at yeah. some of the players to sort of say come on let's let's go and chase this did it feel like the players well why do you think that the players didn't have that urgency I think that they were I mean don't get me wrong Altrincham sat really low then in the second half and and, and they sat low and counted as well you know they had a, a good game plan in the second half and I think when they denied the space we moved the ball too slowly so then it looks like there's no urgency so our passing around the pitch was far too slow and then we never created the space to play forwards so we ended up playing in front of them so that was uh, yeah it, it, I agree it, it looked like we lacked that urgency and that's what's disappointing is there belief at times involved do you think they, they do they do not believe that they're going to go and get a goal yeah i think end? we believe it but we you know we, today we we lack the quality going forwards with the the ball when we were playing the ball um you know when our possession was moving through the the pitch and going forwards i didn't feel like we had the quality of the movement the runs and we didn't play the ball into those spaces i felt to be honest with you the, the player that looked most likely to do something was Ruben I thought Ruben came in and was excellent today um, he was feeling his groins it's the first start he's had for a little while that's why obviously he had to come off towards the end but his free kick was excellent and, and he looked like maybe one that was going to give us something a little bit different up there Do you feel like you've got the quality in that dressing room to be able to play the way that you want to week by week? Yeah I do because the, the, the previous two games against probably no disrespect to altering but stronger opposition really uh, Eastleigh and Torquay I think we've we've played that system and that style of football very well um, so it's possible but we have to stay focused on the things that are going to give us a chance of winning and that's moving the possession and playing it forwards uh, more aggressively with more intensity with more runs and, and that's what we lacked and that's what now we need to bring on, on Tuesday. Is a point good enough here today? Uh, not for me, it's not. And not, I'm sure if you ask the players, they'll say it's not good enough. You know, we we want to come to a place like this and win three points. So, no, I'm I'm very disappointed. You've got seven games remaining now. You have Sutton on Tuesday. Just how big of a test is that going to be? Yeah, big test. They've they've had a great season and they're a strong team, physically strong, well organised. So that's going to be you know again we need to to have far more uh, intensity with our play if we're going to open up a team that that is compact and defends well and direct on counter-attacks. So, you know, we've got to be, uh, we've got to step the game up from what we did today.